Hey to hey to YouTubers. Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Ames from Jacques Ames Photography and today I'm going to talk to you about a solution for filming underwater and photographing underwater on the cheap. YouTubers, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Listen, you guys, anybody who is a fan, I got some subscribers out there. I have already gotten myself some cool merch. So I got myself a mug. On the back it says, making something from nothing. If you would like to buy some of that merch, there's going to be a link in the description. And just below me, anyone in the US will see a banner, most likely under this video. And in that banner, there's either other people's advertisements or my merch. That's what I've been told by the people at Teespring. Therefore, I will leave you a link to go to my actual boutique and pick up a t-shirt, uh, mugs, a couple of other things I have out there. But some, you know, it's kind of cool and kind of fun. You guys can check it out if you're a fan and you want to support me. That is the place to go. It definitely supports me. It's really good. That with affiliate links, I really appreciate it a lot. I just want to tell you guys a small story about why I started photographing and filming underwater. My cousin is uh, used to be a synchronized swimmer and now she trains people who want to become part of the Canadian national team. She does that in my city of Quebec City, which is really practical. And what's really great is that my cousin called me up, she talked to me, she said, listen, I would really like it if you could come over and photograph the girls. They would really appreciate it. We've seen what you've done and they're really excited. They want to work with you. So I obliged and said, you know what? I'm going to go do this. Now, once that was said, I said, yay, I'm photographing underwater. But then I thought, okay, one minute, what do I use to photograph underwater? And here is where the logistics of filming underwater become how can I say expensive? That's, I think that's the best way to say it. It just can get really expensive. Now, you can go and film underwater with a relatively inexpensive camera like this, which is called the GoPro. This is a Hero 4, which by the way, everybody, I would strongly recommend. It's just a great camera for the size. It's unbelievable. And it comes with an underwater casing. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be able to get some great shots with it. It's very surprising for the size of the sensor, but, quality color rendition and all that stuff in an underwater environment where there's not a lot of light well you sort of lose a lot of quality you lose a lot of quality in what you can actually get and especially when you're shooting something as beautiful as synchronized swimmers so that GoPro option is not there. The next option is to get a bigger and bigger sensor. Because the problem with the GoPro is that the sensor is so small. So as you get bigger and bigger sensors, the casing of the camera gets a lot bigger. For example, this X-T100 right here from Fuji, this is an APS-C sensor. Therefore, it is very large. It is a large sensor. It's pretty big and it will give you really nice color rendition, nice shots, but unfortunately, how do you waterproof something so big? Uh, now, just to give you an example, they have a housing, Miacon, the company I bought a housing from, has a housing for the X-T2. That housing is roughly seven to $800. You know, if you want to do something well, you got to pay the price. It's just the way it is. We all want to save money. So let me talk to you about how I dealt with this. Now, anybody who watches this station will realize that I'm a big fan of the Canon G7X Mark II. It is a camera that for the size is unbelievably well made, does a good job. Here it is right here. The color rendition, the quality of the images, and most notably is the quality of the lens on it is unbelievable. It is a 24 to 100 equivalent, if I'm not mistaken. So it's wide angle to pretty close. Now, since that camera is so good for the size, I decided to just check on the website of Miacon, a company that makes uh, underwater housings, if they had one, and indeed they did. And so I went out and bought this right here. It's the, let me try to get a shot of that so you can see that well. It's the Maycon underwater housing for the G7X. Now, how this works, and the only way I can explain this is that what you do is you basically take your camera you shove it inside the housing and you close it and you have exactly a latch 
like a GoPro right here, and you close and waterproof the whole camera. Now, what happens when you do that that makes these casings expensive is that as soon as it's in the housing, you have no more control on the camera. But what these housings have are little extension knobbies that actually go down and actually control the buttons within the camera. Now, if you look very closely, you'll see that, see these things right there? Those things, each little thing manipulates the buttons inside. And each of these buttonholes are waterproof. Therefore, it can start to cost a pretty penny to have an underwater housing like this. Now, what's great about this one, because the camera's so small and the housing's so small, is that the housing for this camera right here is roughly in the $200 range, to, uh, high $200 ranges for the Canon G7X. But as you can see, it makes for a camera that is a lot bigger. Here, this is how big this one gets right here, just to show you. You smack it closed. As you can see, it's not small. It's not small at all, and it, 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 it's surprising. So the Maycon G7, oh, let me, come on, focus in. The Maycon G7X Mark II water case. Here it is, it's really, really good, and it has done an amazing job for me. Uh, now, what is absolutely amazing is when you stick it inside of here, you really do have 100% of all the controls that you could possibly want from your camera. If you look at all those buttons, they're the same button, the same arrangements that you have on the G7X. So therefore, if you buy the Maycon underwater housing for the Fujifilm X-T2, you'll have all the same buttons and this, all the same button equivalents for the X-T2 with the same writing that's on the camera on the outside and you'll be able to do whatever you want. I can change to manual focus here. I can actually play back. I have menu. I got everything on this. It's, it's really, really well made. Now, this Maycon right here, this underwater housing right here is at about 274. And listen, I don't know, if, I'll post it right there. That's where the price is. If you guys wanna know the exact price, but check that price out and you can get some really stunning video out of this G7X. It's pretty darn incredible. Now, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. And I'm telling you right now, I've used it two or three times. I'm going to make videos on how to shoot underwater. I'm learning all kinds of lessons. I'm uh, doing a lot of hit and miss. It's going okay, but it could be better. And uh, each time I'm learning, and at one point I'll basically do a uh, a video on the pros and cons and how to actually go out there and film underwater footage to make it better for you. But I just wanted to tell you guys that the G7X with the Maycon underwater housing is a inexpensive way of getting underwater footage at great quality. So before I leave you, I have a teaser that I've already made that's already on my YouTube channel, but I decided what the hell, I might as well glue it to the end of this video so you guys can see it. Check it out, you'll see what I've done so far. Remember that the G7X, what's really great also, it films at 60 progressive frames, therefore you can have a timeline at 24 frames per second, put it in there and you have real slow motion. In the case of my synchronized swimmers, I, almost all the footage I go for slow motion. So I just wanted to tell you guys that. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing. Thank you.